Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss iterative deepening A star search algorithm in artificial intelligence with the help of a simple solved example. Iterative deepening A star, also known as IDA star algorithm, is a graph traversal and path finding method. It is used to determine the shortest path in a weighted graph between the start node and any one of the goal node in this case. So we need to find uh, the path starting from the start node to any one of the goal node from a group of uh, goal nodes in this case. Idea star is a kind of uh, iterative deepening depth search algorithm which is already discussed. The link for that video is given in the description below. This idea star algorithm uses uh, the heuristic function of uh, a star search algorithm to find the cost from the current node to the goal node in this case. Now, what is heuristic function and how it works, we will try to see. The heuristic function uh, is used to calculate the F score that is used to estimate the cost from uh, the given state to the goal state here. It's a combination of two things. One is known as G of n and another one is known as H of n. The heuristic function is given as uh, F of n is equal to G of n plus H of n. Now, the question comes in front of us is what is G of n? and what is h of n here. To understand this, uh, we will take one simple example. Let's say that uh, there are four nodes are there. One is called as A, second one is B, third one is C and fourth one is uh, D in this case. Now let's say that uh, the cost to reach from A to B is 2, cost to reach from B to C is uh, 4, cost to reach from C to D is, uh, we can say that 5 here. In this case, A is the root node and uh, G, uh, D is the goal node here. Now, these uh, 2, 4 and 5 are the actual cost and there will be something called as a heuristic cost here. For example, for A, uh, the heuristic cost may be 10 here. The meaning of this one is the estimate value or the estimate cost from A to D in this case. Let's assume that uh, the 9 is the heuristic value of uh, B. This is the estimate cost to reach the goal node starting from B here. Similarly, there will be a heuristic value for C. Let's assume that it is 7 in this case. For a goal node, the heuristic value is always equal to 0 in this case. Now, what is uh, uh, G of n and what is H of n here? Let's assume that uh, currently we are present at this particular uh, node C here. This is the current node. If it is a current node, H of n is equal to 7. That is as simple as that. That's a heuristic value. And what is uh, the G of n? G of n is the actual cost to reach this current node starting from the root node. What is the actual cost here? That is 2 plus 4 that is equal to 6 in this case. Now, uh, to understand the idea star algorithm, we will consider this uh, graph here. In this case, we have multiple number of nodes. In each and uh, every level, we have a uh, different number of uh, nodes are there. For each node, we have written a number. That number is nothing but the heuristic uh, cost here. Uh, the value 2 written on the root node is nothing but the cost required to reach uh, the goal node starting from the root node here. The 5 in this case uh, indicates the uh, heuristic value to reach this goal node starting from this particular node. So that is what has been uh, written in this uh, graph here. Now given this particular graph, we need to apply the IDA star algorithm and we need to find a path starting from start node to the goal node in this case. Now what are the different steps are there in IDA star algorithm are? The first step is to do the initialization. In this case, uh, we will set the current node as the root node. So, in this case, we have the root node is equal to uh, this one. We will set this uh, root node as the current node in this case. That is the first thing. And then we will calculate the F score. In this case, F score is already given. So, there is no need to find it. Uh, if it is not given, we need to use that function, uh, the heuristic function. And then we need to calculate the F score here. So, it is already given. So, there is no need to calculate the F score here. Now, the second step is to set the threshold. The threshold is nothing but to set the cost limit as the threshold for a node that is the maximum F score allowed for that node for further exploration. For example, if I set the threshold is equal to 1, I cannot explore this uh, root node because threshold is 1, uh, this F score is greater than that threshold, so we cannot explore it. For example, threshold is 4, this uh, root node value is equal to 2, 2 is not greater than 4, so we can explore here. So that is what the meaning of this uh, threshold in this case. So we need to set the threshold. Once the threshold is set, we need to do the node expansion uh, so that uh, we can find the children's here. Now, when we, can we do the node expansion? 
whenever the f score is not greater than the threshold in this case if f score is not greater than threshold uh, we can explore it otherwise we need to prune that particular thing so that we will discuss at the later stage let's assume that uh, right now we are present at the root node the threshold is set to 2 here because the f score is not greater than threshold we will explore it now a 2 is not greater than 2 we will explore it we will get two children so one is 4 another one is 5 here now once you go to this particular left side child that is uh, uh, the child with f score 4 f score is greater than threshold here so we cannot explore in this case similarly when we go to this one 5 is greater than 2 so we cannot explore it so we need to prune it that is the next step here so that is called as pruning if the f score is greater than threshold we need to prune it uh, because uh, from there onwards we cannot uh, go to the goal node because uh, it is greater than the threshold in this case now uh, that is what is called as a pruning uh, if uh, f score is not greater than threshold we will go on exploring and then we will get the root node once you get the root node we need to return that particular path here that is the step number five if uh, uh, the f score is greater than threshold we will not get the root node in that case we need to prune it and then we need to increment the threshold value again and then uh, we need to go back to step number two and then uh, uh, we need to set the next threshold node expansion and then we need to do the pruning the same thing will be repeated again and again until we will get the uh, goal node in this case now the question comes in front of us is uh, how to set the threshold in the next iteration to set the threshold in the next iteration we need to select the minimum pruned value here now if you look at here we have pruned at this particular level minimum among these particular pruned uh, value is what four here so that will become the next threshold and uh, we need to continue from step number two with the threshold is equal to four here so that is what i have shown in this uh, iteration here threshold is equal to four once the threshold will become four again we need to start from the root node here the root node f score is two 2 is not greater than 4, so we will explore it. We will get 4 and 5. Now we will go to the left side. The f score is 4 here. 4 is uh, not greater than uh, 4 here. So what we do here is we will explore it. We will get 5 and 4. 5 is greater than 4 here, so we cannot explore it. We will prune it here. Now we will go to the right side. We have 4. 4 is not greater than 4. We will get 8 and 7. Both 8 and 7 are greater than uh, 4 here, so we will prune it here. Now we will go to the next side that is 5. 5 is greater than 4. We cannot explore it. We will prune it here. So these are the three pruning points uh, and we didn't got the goal node. So we need to set the threshold now. So minimum among these uh, prune nodes is 5. So threshold will be equal to 5 in this case. Now again we will start from the root node. We will get uh, 4 and 5. 4 is uh, not greater than 5 here. We will get 5 and 4 here. We will go to this particular 5. 5 is not greater than 5, we will get 7 and 8 in this case. Now, 7 and 8 are greater than 5, we cannot uh, continue here, we will prune it here. Now, we will go to the right side, we have 4 here, 4 is uh, not greater than 5, we will get 8 and 7, both of them are greater than uh, uh, 5 here, so we will prune it here. Now, we will go to this particular right side, that is 5, 5 is not greater than 5, we will get 6 and 6, both 6 are greater than 5, we will prune it here. Now, uh, we didn't got the goal node again, so we will get the minimum among the prune node that is equal to 6. So, now the next step, the threshold will become 6 here. Again, we will apply the same process again and again. Uh, if you look at this particular thing, uh, we haven't got this uh, goal node and uh, we have reached all these particular nodes. So, minimum among these particular pruned nodes is 7. So, the next time it will become 7 here. Again, with 7 also, we will not be able to reach the goal node. Again, we will see the minimum among all these things. The next time it will become 8 here. So, the next threshold is equal to 8. We will start exploring here. We will get 4 and 5. 4 is not greater than 8. So, we will explore these two things. 5 is not greater than 8. We will get 7 and 8. 7 is not greater than 8. We will get 12 and 14. Both of them are greater. So, we will prune it here. Now, we will go to 8. 8 is uh, not greater than 8. We will get 16 and 15. Both of them are more than the current threshold. We will prune it here. Now we will go to this particular 4. 4 is not greater than 8. We will explore these two things. Both of them are not greater than 8. We will explore all these things, but none of them are a, go or a goal node and all of them are greater than threshold here. Now we will go to the right side, that is 5. 5 is uh, not greater than 8. We will get 6 and then uh, 6 here. 
from this particular 6 we will get this 6 and 8 here uh, from this 6 we will get 13 and 7 uh, we don't have any further notes here so we will go to this 8 from this 6 uh, 8 we will get 15 and 16 in this case out of this this 15 is the goal node here because we have reached the goal node we will stop in this case you can notice uh, in this particular uh, node exploration and path finding we have done this uh, thing again and again because of that it will take uh, more time but because we haven't explored the entire graph here it will take less space or you can say that the less memory in this case so compared to a star search algorithm iterative deepening a star search algorithm is a uh, space efficient algorithm but it is it will take more time to get this uh, goal node in this case i hope the concept of uh, iterative deepening a star search algorithm is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching